Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for episode 13. Also, we got some new images, and we got the synopsis of this episode and other episodes, so we got like a bunch of things to go through. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, we're doing the trailer breakdown, and we got like photos, synopsis, everything that I just mentioned. And so it's going to be a big video, so please stick around to the end if you want to get fully up to date about what exactly is happening in this episode and the next episode afterwards. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the trailer. So the trailer and this episode is very much so about Cecile. It's a Cecile episode, and last episode obviously was Cisco's episode. The episode after is going to be Allegra's episode. So it's strange that, you know, we have like barely any episodes left, you know, we go up to 18 and then that's the finale. And we're having three episodes straight in a row that isn't to do with like a main story. But anyway, so yeah, this is the Seal episode and the first shot of the trailer shows the Seal. Her eyes are glowing yellow or like gold and she's basically been taken over or she is trying to control Barry. And that's what she's doing in this scene. And so you see Barry and his eyes are completely the same color and he is in a trance and then just after that cuts to the next one and he falls over faint dead to the ground and that's where it like kind of match cuts and it jumps to Barry inside the Mindscape. That's what they're calling it. We've had a Mindscape before on the Flash. However, this time it's seemingly in Cecile's Mindscape and they've been trapped by someone else supposedly. So Barry's here, he's in the floor. This looks like it's supposed to be like a replica of like a mental hospital, you know, something along those lines, like a psychiatric ward. And you have Cecile, she's stuck in the corner with Barry, and at this point I think Barry realises what's happened is all because of Cecile. And apparently Cecile is going to have to face her past according to the synopsis in order to break free from this psychic prison. And I think she is the one who has caused the psychic prison on herself. That is my theory as of right now. I think maybe after she got attacked a couple of episodes ago by Sykes Lightning, her mind has been going off in all these many different directions, and we're going to take a look back into Cecile's past, and it seems like maybe she's a criminal, or there's like an alternate version of Cecile. So we're going to get into that in a minute, but that was teased at the end of the last episode with the sort of psycho pirate looking mask at the end of the episode in the mirror with Cecile wearing it. And obviously that is a very common trope where it's like a person looks in the mirror, they see something else and it's like a reflection or like a different side to that person. So I think that's what's going on here. We get this very different looking Cecile who's wearing completely different clothes and she's wearing, you know, this kind of black leather jacket. I'm not sure if it is actually a leather jacket, but anyway, she looks very, very different from the scared looking Cecile in the previous shot who was wearing like a orangey red cardigan and now this is like a full black outfit and it seems like this is the other version of Cecile you're going to be getting in this episode but yeah we cut to the next shot Cecile is trying to like slam her way out of the prison at some point they are going to get out of this mindscape but I don't think slamming it is going to help them very much however back inside Star Labs we have Iris and she is holding some sort of like tech gun and it looks like there's been some sort of break-in. I don't know if this is to do with Chester and what's happening. Because according to the synopsis, Chester makes a mistake that puts Barry in serious danger. And I don't know if that's what's put Barry inside the Mindscape. I don't think it is. I think Barry's just been put in there by Cecile. However, something is going wrong inside Star Labs, presumably. And that's why Iris is going around. But inside the Mindscape, once again, we have Cecile, who is in the corner. And she's in like a kind of uh, strapped up jacket. I forgot. It's called like a straight jacket. That's what they call it. And Barry is sort of walking towards Cecile as he kind of hesitantly goes forward. Because I think he's not 100% sure what's happening. I think Cecile is kind of breaking down inside this mindscape bit by bit. And that's why she's eventually going to end up with that straight jacket on. However, we cut to the next shot. This is the mask we saw last episode. And as you can see, this mask is completely filled with writing from different languages. I don't know what any of that actually means, but it's just, you know, symbolic 
in terms of it's very powerful and lots of people have been theorizing about what mask this actually is and lots of people have come to the conclusion that this is psycho pirates mask i'm not so sure about that maybe this mask is powerful maybe it has some sort of powers like psycho pirates mask could potentially have however i think it's just a mask that cecile wears in this episode and it's something associated to her past I'm not sure if what we're seeing in this next shot with Cecile actually wearing the mask in the kind of leather jacket getup that she had. I'm not sure if this was some sort of reality she lived in the past because I don't believe Cecile was actually a criminal. She's always been like, you know, working on the side of the law. So I don't think this is actually real. I think this is inside her mind. And it's maybe like an alternate version of what she could have become if she, say, took a few different steps along the way. But yeah, she looks very menacing and it looks like this is some sort of art gallery and maybe this is taken from like a exhibition and it was like showcased there, this specific mask. I think that's what's going on. However, let's move on to the next shot. So inside this mindscape, Cecile was like, can we die here? And like, what would happen if we died inside here? Would we die on the outside? And Barry confirms yes we're gonna die because you know Barry's been inside Mindscapes before and if they die in there it's basically gonna sever like their connection to their body and basically they're gonna die well that's literally what happened in the musical crossover like they all got shut up but then they were able to survive by the end but them being shot Barry and Kara they were actually dying so obviously this is a very high stakes situation I don't know what specifically is going on but it seems like the tension is amping up bit by bit inside this mindscape and it looks like Cecile was impacting everything around her and she's been attacked by like this alternate version of herself that's just like one of my theories right now and I think a lot of you guys are thinking the same thing also I don't think this is gonna really connect to the Godspeed stuff that is coming in the next couple of episodes after the Allegra episode but we'll have to just wait and see. Let's move on to some of the photos that they released with this episode. So again, just a couple of different viewpoints. We got Barry and Cecile inside there. And once again, Cecile was making some sort of face. So something is happening, maybe happening to Barry. And just another alternate angle from a wider angle. It's literally just exactly the same photo. Anyway, so we go back to like reality. And it looks like this is in... Joe and Cecile's house and they're looking over some case files and I don't know what big role she's gonna have like in the normal world I don't know if this is at the start of the episode or at the end of the episode but I would presume it's probably nearer to the start as she's going to be locked in this mindscape for most of the episode it looks like with Barry so we move over to Star Labs and this looks like it's Chester's new workplace and he's like fully like revamped the place he's got like a gaming machine it looks like in the background like a bunch of machines anyway cool colors in this room and we got most of the team flash obviously Barry's not here but Cecile is also here so again I'm not sure what point in the episode this is okay so a surprise face Sue Dearborn has returned this is the first look photo at her in this episode I had no idea she was coming so this is a little bit of a surprise I don't know why she's showing up, maybe there is some sort of reference to Ralph in this episode. Like maybe Ralph died or something whilst they were on the run and that's why she is back because I don't know why she would specifically be back. But Eric Wallace, the showrunner of the show, did say she would be back a couple of times this season, so this is one of the times. Okay, we have the final photo, Iris is inside Chester's new lab and she is just talking and yeah, I really like this new space, I think it looks really cool and Chester's done. An awesome job of it so really looking forward to this episode because it actually looks interesting it looks more than just like a sort of basic filler episode where it's about a character that you don't really care about that much I mean how much do we actually care about Cecile like she's a good character right but she's never that interesting but this looks a bit more interesting than just like a pretty average character episode so, looking forward to it. I mean, it's got a lot to live up to compared to last week's episode. I really enjoyed it. However, it looks like it's going to be a very different tone in the episode compared to this week. And that's because Cisco's goodbye episode was obviously more in line with Cisco's type of manner. It was very funny and it was very enjoyable. And this episode looks more dark and kind of absorbing. But for now, let's move on to the next topic. We have the synopsis for episode 14. This is directed by Daniel Panabaker, who obviously plays Killer Frost. 
and also Caitlyn on the show, so this is how it goes. When Ultraviolet returns to Central City, Allegra is determined to find her cousin and change her heart. Meanwhile, Joe finds evidence that Kristen Kramer may not be the good cop that she appears to be. Okay, first things first, Kristen Kramer doesn't seem like a good cop, right? Is that just me? No, she's definitely not a good cop, and maybe that is to the outside world. However, like, what she tried to do at the trial was very malicious, and, you know, her going behind everyone's backs, even the police department, and, you know, basically forcing Joe to quit because she was around. She's not a good cop. Anyway, so this is Danielle Panabaker's episode. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not very much so looking forward to this episode. I, th I think Danielle has done some really good episodes before, but this topic in this episode doesn't seem interesting. Number one, I'm not a big fan of Allegra, I know you guys aren't, and yes, it's quite important that she gets her own episode, but why every time they try and do something with Allegra, do they have to bring her cousin back? Because her cousin, Ultraviolet, was this criminal who was around during the black hole stuff, and she was bad. Like, she appeared way too many times for being a totally uninteresting character, and it made no sense every time she popped up, because she was just going around being like, haha, I'm a criminal, you know, typical stuff. And their connection was never sold to us, but was more of an excuse to introduce Allegra to the show. So, I don't know why she's trying to find her cousin and changing her heart. I don't think it's interesting. I don't really care about it, to be honest. And I know that might sound a bit harsh, but from what we've seen from Ultraviolet in the past, she's not interesting at all. So I don't know how they're going to make her interesting. And I got a bad feeling about this episode apart from obviously the Joe stuff is going to be great but there is no Barry stuff in the synopsis and it seems like in the next couple of episodes we're not going to get much Barry but hopefully in episode 15 after this we should be getting Godspeed and hopefully more and more Barry as the Flash and him going around taking down or you know trying to solve the mystery of all these Godspeed clones who are going to be returning so look out for that, but yeah, definitely Godspeed episode 15, so super excited, at least for that aspect. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you are new. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, but for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.